Hello everyone, today I am going to speak about how the government of India earns. The Indian government, like most other, gets most of its revenue earned by the citizen taxing citizen corporations, goods and services. A part of the budget presentation, the government presents a receipt budget which laid down its source of earning. The gross tax revenue estimated are laid out each year and a revised estimate is provided at the end of each year. The, in 2018-19, for instance, the government is estimated to have earned Rs 22.4 lakh crore in, in gross tax revenue. Gross tax revenue is made up of the corporation tax which forms the largest chunk followed by the taxes and the individual or, and the good and the service tax. Apart from tax revenue, the government also earns re revenues from other sources. Prominent among these are of these recipients in the form of dividend from public sector enterprise, state-owned banks and financial institutions, and even the Reserve Bank also of India also pays dividend. In tough times, you will often heard the government seeking higher dividend from these entities. And be that the government of India earns 34 pies comes from through borrowing and liabilities, while goods and service tax contribute 17 pies. The 2023 budget reveals the income tax corporation tax at 15 pies each year to every one rupee that the center earns each year, while union excise and duty and customs at 7 and 4 pies respectively. The 8 pies comes from the non tax recipient and non debt recipients. For the union budget 2023, the outstanding internal and external debt and other liabilities of the center are estimated at 1 crore 69 lakh 46 666.85 crore for financial year 2023. On the other hand, GST is estimated to rise by 12% from 8 lakh. 8 lakh 54,000 crore to 9,56,600 crore in 2020-23 to 2024. The income tax which is paid just a small fraction of Indian population is expected to cross 9 lakh crore in, in 2020-23 to 2024. The corporation tax which is in the tax which is the tax revealed for companies income is estimated to add 9, 9 lakh, lakh, lakh 622,675 6, crore by March 2024. These two taxes, along with to the total debt and liabilities, contribute 64% of the government's total income, which stands at 46 lakh crore in 2023 to 2024. The non-tax revenue, which is estimated at 3 lakh 1,650 crore in 2023 to 2024, an increase of 15.2% over the revised estimate of 2000 uh, year 2022 to 2023, at 6.6% of the center offered. The High percentage of debt and liabilities in the government yearly income, however, also means that interest payment contributes 20% of the expenditure in 2023-2024. The other, in other words, the rupee the government spends 20 pies goes into the repayment of debt and liabilities. The second chunk of expenditure for the center is sharing the revenue earned from taxes and duties with the state. 18% the total amount that will be shared with state stands at uh, 10.21 uh, uh, lakh uh, crore for uh, the financial year 2023-2024 which is 41% of the total net proceedings of the uh, shareable state as per the recommended UP and BR will get 28% of the total share of the shared central tax duties as per the union budget 2023 Central uh, sector scheme 17% and centrally sponsored 9% which are 100% uh, central uh, fund and centrally fund and partially fund by the central respectively. Constitute for uh, one fourth of the total government expenditure. In one rupee terms, uh, 26 pies goes into these schemes. Defense, which is the single biggest sector expenditure in Indian budget, takes away 8 pies of every one rupee. The central Center spent the defense budget in 2023 stands at 5.9694 lakh crore, which is here to for 13.2 percent of the total budget expenditure of the center. At least seven pies goes into the subsidies, one pies less than 
2022-2023 in the union budget, the center had spent in food fertilizers petroleum by 28% compared to revised estimate for the ongoing financial year. Thank you for watching this video. I will again come up with such interesting topics.